Hi again. You know, we've been talking about grace. We've been talking about it all week and how it is a deeply rooted part of God's very nature, the way God is. Today we're going to ponder a little bit about our part in it. I've been trying to keep us looking at God's part, but I also do want to recognize that we're people and we want to know where we fit. In Romans 3 it says, God has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Christ Jesus to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Doesn't matter where you're from, doesn't matter how much money you have, it doesn't matter what's been done to you or what you have done to others. At the end of the day, all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The point is not to endlessly beat ourselves up here, but to recognize that grace cannot be earned. Rightness with God, rightness with each other cannot be earned. It is a gift. When one person forgives another, it is a gift. It's important for both and it's healthy and helpful for both, but it is still a gift. It is not earned. If you've been in a broken marriage and you've tried to earn forgiveness, you know how impossible that is. The forgiveness is itself a gift. It's something we can claim by faith. We can lean into Jesus. We can say that we have been saved by him. We can claim the holiness and the righteousness of the people of God, not in our name, not because we were good to our grandmothers or our wives or our kids or whatever, our spouses, but because through Jesus Christ we have access to these things. The Holy Spirit can prompt us to do this, can come into our lives and make us believe it. You see, you can't just do this by will. You can't say you believe something if you don't actually believe it. That would be inauthentic. It would make a mockery of the concept of belief. But if the Holy Spirit prompts us, what joy and what relief they can bring into our lives as we sense grace. It's Friday and that means I'm advocating again for Sabbath. And Part of how Sabbath works is recognizing that there's much in our lives that we can't do, that we don't control, that is a gift from God. Chief among it is grace. So if you do take a Sabbath, if you take even an hour to be restful and calm in God's presence, thank Him for the grace you have, for the gift you have, and thank Him that while we're all sinners, God loves us all enough to offer His Son to give us the grace that we need. And then ask yourself, is there somebody you can offer some form of grace or some form of forgiveness to today? Because that is mimicking God, offering grace unearned to others.